Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Just knocking out some videos today. <laughs> um, so I've been getting a lot of requests for Minnie and Mickey, or Mickey and Minnie. So I thought it would be kind of cool because everyone's always asking me where I get my images and I do get them from Etsy quite a bit, but I think because these are, you know, um, popular copyright issues that the designers that I buy from, they're on and off of those files aren't always available. So I thought it'd be kind of cool if we can just do the images from Design Space. So let's go into images and search for Mickey and Minnie. And let's see what we have. So I, so these you have to purchase like I would on Etsy. But if you want to just try them out, you can. You don't pay for them until you go to make it. So it's up to you. Um, so let's look for good files. And what I mean by good files is, and Mickey's a pretty good one because everything about him is broken up. Like his face, then you have a little bit of the black, the white gloves, a little bit of the body, but then you have red pants. So that means everything can be seamless and only the black background would have seams if you make it big. So I do like Mickey quite a bit. Um, let's see a good image. Oh, we could do, we could do him. Oh, this is cute. Um, let's do this one and I'm going to show you why I like this one. So let's, uh, make sure that it's locked, which I think almost always it's locked. Let's make it really big so we can see it. All right, why I like this image. Um, there are a lot of white pieces, right? His face, everything's kind of broken up. And the black, you could use black glitter cardstock, and that would hide the seams really, really well. So let's do this one at 30 inches. And let's isolate his face really quickly just to see how big it is. So let's ungroup everything and let's see how big his face is. His face at 30 inches is still only under eight inches. So we could make it bigger. Let's see, this white is in two pieces. So let's see if we can do this at 40. So select all, let's go to 40. And let's see how big his face is now. Okay, let's do this at 40, okay? So save Mickey 40 inches. I think, I mean, we can go a little bit bigger, but I I still have not finished assembling Princess Jasmine at 61 inches. So I feel like at some point it's too big. 40 inches, I had no problems with. I did Cinderella, Snow White, and Mulan. Beautiful, loved it. 61 inches, not so much. <laughs> All right, so let's start ungrouping these things. All right, so this is in three pieces or technically four pieces, right? So let's go to contour. When you use contour to separate out pieces, however many pieces you wanna separate it into, you need that many copies. So I want four copies total. Here's copy two, three, and four. Let's go to contour, click hide all, and right here, click where the percentage is, it will automatically go to 100%. All right, so it left us the main skull, but I want the eyes, so click on the inside. Okay, so here's our skull. Our skull is 14.85 by 9.2, so it's a little bit big. Let's see if we twist this around, if we can make this work. So see how I haven't done anything to the skull other than change uh, rotating it. By rotating it, it's now 13.2 by 10.3. Let's see if I can rotate it some more. 11.4 by 11.7. Let's rotate it just a little bit more. Okay, it looks like, I'm gonna go back to this. 11.3 by 11.7. We will trick Design Space to cut this on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. This works. So actually, I 40 inches is as big as you can do this one, okay? I will show you that. Let's go to this one. 
click on contour, let's hide all, go click on this to get to 100%, let's save this one, we don't want this skull. So here's our, oops, here's our teeth, right? And then we want the eyes, so let's contour, hide all, I want this, I don't want this, so there's one eye, we want the other one, contour, let's hide all, and I want this one, and I don't want this. Okay, so here's our white, all good, all seamless, right? We know the face is seamless, it's 10 by 10, perfect. Now all these white, Oh, hold up. Interesting. Okay, so let's undo this for a second. I thought all these were bones. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to grab the black outline, hit shift, and the white outline, and let's slice. See, so that gives us all our white pieces. Oh, do we want that? You know what, hold on, let me think about this. Let's undo this for a second. Okay. Hold on, let's... Okay, so interesting. We have the white and the black. It would be easier to just slice things up with these two pieces. Hold on, let's move all the colored pieces out of the way. So our, this is all good. Okay. So what we're left with, oh wow. I don't know how I feel about this. So our white, yeah, I don't like it. So we have our black background. Here's our black background. This is what I would do. We'll deal with the black background in a second. Let's get all our white pieces. Okay, so let's um, grab these two items. Uh, the reason why I don't like it the way it is, is we could slice this up into multiple pieces, right? But with white, if you don't do white glitter cardstock, the white regular cardstock is gonna look horrible. You're gonna see the seams, yuck. Um, even with the white glitter cardstock, you're gonna see the seams. So I feel like all these white bones should be separate white pieces. So let's grab these two and go to align, make sure that they're centered. Then we're going to slice it. So let's get rid of all of this. So here are our white pieces. Let's get rid of that. So our white pieces, they're in a lot of pieces. Um, but a lot of them are kind of big pieces. So let's take out our square and slice away some of these pieces, okay? And what I mean by that is, for instance, this foot. We can cover this, cover the foot with the square, and then grab the two items and slice. So you see now this is gonna go on top of here, and your white pieces are gonna be seamless because each one of these pieces, there aren't any seams on it. It's gonna sit on top of the black glitter cardstock and it's gonna look really good. This is how I would do it. We could do it in a more easy way, but you're gonna have a lot of seams, and I feel like if you're gonna make it really big, 
and this is for like an awe like factor and you know it's beautiful I think this is the best way to do it okay um, so we're slowly isolating pieces out and I'm doing it this way just so that we don't have to contour as much so make sure that in your square you get everything that you want to slice out so we're slicing out the hand together okay so grab the two items and slice And I'll move all this out of the way. Um, it's kind of hard to know where the where everything goes, but I think it's somewhere up here. Here's the hand. Okay, so you kind of see what I'm doing. Even though I mean we could break this up, but this is probably good to keep together so that when it cuts on your piece of paper, you know this is the hand. These are all the pieces. You will waste a little bit of cardstock, but in this case, with so many pieces of the bone that will um, help keep your sanity. <laughs> All right, so let's move that out of the way. Let's get this part down here. It looks like this, I don't know what this little piece is. I'm, let's click on this and go to contour and just get rid of it. I'm not a big fan of, let's get this to 100. Let's remove that. I don't think we need that piece at all. Okay, so let's slice this part out. Oh, did I not, was anything part of that? Okay, hold on. Let's put that there. Okay, let's slice that out. Okay, so let's get rid of this. This is all together. And let's see how big this piece is at this point. So, all right, so we can, we can basically break this up. Let's get rid of the toes because the toes is making it stick out a little bit. So hold on, let's move that. Twist this around to make sure that you grab all the toes in the square, like so. Grab the two and slice. Get rid of your slice results. I think I cut off a little bit of the toe, I did. Okay, so that's this piece. Okay, so I think we can slice out this part up here. I don't know if I can, uh, let's see if I can get a square. Can I get it? No, I can't. Um, okay, let's break this up into three pieces. This is the bottom half is one, this piece is two, and then this piece is three, okay? So let's get rid of this. Let's break this up into threes. So we want three copies total. Let's go to contour. All right, let's hide all. So that's gonna leave that we want the two little holes. Here's our first piece. So this is 8.3 by 10.5. So this will cut all in one and no slices, right? No seams. So that's gonna look really good in the middle of his body, wherever that goes. Okay, now we need to get rid of, let's go to contour. Um, let's click on this, 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 this. These little things. All right, so that leaves us the bottom. This is 10 by nine, so it will all cut out so you know exactly how it goes. It'll stay on the mat like that. All right, so let's go to contour. And we wanna hide all, we just need this up here. This, this, this little dot, and these two little things. Oops, all right, there. All right, so all our white pieces are taken care of. All our colored pieces are good. Now we just need to deal with this background. 
So let's build our squares so that we can slice this. This currently we can't cut at 34.87 by 40, right? So let's bring in our squares. So let's see, how big is it? 34, so we need four um, columns. We need four by four, so we need 16. Okay, so let's make this first square 11 by 11. Okay, and we're going to put it right here. And we're gonna use our position feature. This is your X and your Y. Your X is the one going across, your Y is the one going up and down. So we're gonna to round to the nearest whole number. So 4.389 becomes four and 4.6 becomes five, okay? So what we're basically telling Design Space is go over four units, go down five units, and here's the tip of our square. So we're gonna duplicate that square, put it right here, really close. And if you put it really close and you don't have to do any math, you just round to the nearest whole number. 15.11 becomes 15. And I'll show you what that means, okay? So this started at four and our paper is 11 inches. So four plus 11 is 15 and that's where it starts, okay? So let's grab both squares and duplicate. We know we need four columns. So we'll put it really close and turn this into 26 and five. So now we have four, okay? Hit the shift key, grab all four squares and duplicate. We're just building our squares to slice, okay? Um, so this becomes four, 16. We could just grab the other four and duplicate and then we'll be done. So here we go. So 3.8 becomes four, 27.11 becomes 27. The reason why you want the squares to be flushed is that you want these pieces when, after they're cut on the Cricut, we're gonna be able to slide them up right up to each other and then tape it. That will help um, hide the seams. Um, and also you don't want any gaps, right? You don't want any pieces where all of a sudden you're missing a black portion. And then you also don't want things to overlap because then it'll be too hard for us to piece together and know where, where to tape it. So by having this um, all flush with each other, it really helps us piece it together. All right, so let's go scroll down to the right in your panel right here. Grab Mickey and arrange, send to the front. We just wanna see where we're slicing things, okay? And we wanna make sure this tail isn't sliced into so many pieces. So let's see what we can do. Let's make it one whole piece. And let me, I'm gonna scroll in a little bit. So this means I'm, I'm gonna be moving quite a bit, okay? This tail is kind of important to me because it's a little bit thin. We wanna make sure it's as stable as possible by making it one piece. So if I do something like this, it's gonna slice right here. The foot and the tail is all one piece, so that's good. Let's see, where else are we slicing? We just wanna make sure we have big pieces. This is not that good. This little piece right here is gonna be by itself. So if we move this over, let's see what it does to our tail. All right, so that's okay. Um, so this is coming down here. All right, so this is pretty good. Let's scroll out or zoom out. And there are some squares that we don't need, right? Like we don't need these two. So let's just get rid of them so that we can see what we have. We actually don't need this this one or this one. Okay, so this is what we're slicing up, okay? So remember, when we're slicing, we can only slice two things at one time. It's gonna be one square and Mickey, okay? So with your mouse, you can just grab enough, like that's enough to slice. If your mouse, oops, sorry, let me undo that really quickly. If your mouse grabs three items, it's not gonna let you slice. So I'm, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job here. All right, so here, I'm gonna accidentally or on purpose grab three items, okay? See how slices grayed out? So you just wanna, I would say almost always, if slicing isn't working, it's user error. So we're just going around this image and just slicing it up into pieces that your Cricut can cut, okay? So we're slicing. 
And actually this little guy we can just delete while we're down here, okay. So this tail is out, no. Okay, so let's slice this. And when I'm slicing, I like to rearrange it in order so that when I take this off the mat, I know exactly where these pieces go. And trust me, after doing Jasmine at 61 inches, I didn't do it for her pants and I thought I was gonna I, I thought I was gonna give up on the project. All right, so all these slice results, you can just grab it now and just delete it. And we'll just continue to slice, okay? And bring down the pieces. See, so it's not bad, it's just, it's just a lot of steps to get used to, but these projects, oh my gosh, the kids love them, the adults love them. Um, so it's just, they look really pretty when, when it's well done. Okay, so here we go. I think we're done. And then I'm gonna show you what the, um, what the cut screen looks like. So let's delete that. Let's go to make it. Okay. So here's our skull. We knew our skull was gonna to be too big, right? So let's tilt it and let's get it so that it's gonna be as best as possible to fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, okay? So I'm just moving it there. So actually, so when I go to place this um, on my mat, you know it can only cut, it cuts 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So it comes a quarter inch down and a quarter inch up. So we're just gonna put in a 12 by 24 mat and let it cut. See, this is gonna cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock even though it was giving us that error, okay? So that's how you're gonna avoid that. Just make sure that you don't put anything on this 12 by 12 or this 12 inch line. Everything else goes down and we can probably move more things onto this mat, right? Um, I like using the 12 by 24 mats because they're cheaper to buy in bulk when Cricut goes on sale. And I use the green cutting mat for everything. When it's super sticky, I use it for super sticky things. And then as that mat gets less sticky, I use it for my cardstock. So I am always using my green mats. It is the cheapest way to go about it. All right. Um, okay, so this is its own piece. This is its own piece, but there's still a lot of space. We can bring other things to, to cut. This one, we can move to that first mat. So you click on the three dots, move object. And I think I can get it to fit here on the bottom half. So we'll just move this a little bit out of the way. Let's get this in. And so you can rotate it and make it thinner. And let's see, um, let's move this up here for a second. Move this down. The eye can go up here. So let's see. So see how you can rearrange things? You can put this in here you can even move this up here, or I think it fits in the eye socket. So, so you can bring in more things. Do you see that? All right. So like this one can go in the other eye socket. So move object. Let's move it to this one. This one might be too long. I don't know if it'll fit in there. Oh, nope, it fits. <laughs> Um, so I try to save on my cardstock, but in this case, because they were bones, normally I would have separated this and then the bones could be even closer, but it was just a lot of work. So I was not doing it on this one. Um, this one we can move, right? So let's move it to the other one. Um, we'll move it to here. So these two are together. I mean, we could probably move this one over. Um, I'm going to try to move it here. I don't think it's all going to fit, but yeah, it's not all going to fit, but we can move this guy. I know where he will fit. Move object. I feel like he would fit over here. Just need to twist it a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so we went from seven sheets of cardstock 
or actually eight, right? Because this is one, two, three, four, five. From eight to five, okay? And then here's our black piece. So there's our, and I would use black glitter cardstock for this. So I would move this in and see if it fits anywhere else. Oh, so yeah, this tail can be somewhere else. Move object. Let's move that one. Oh, I don't think it can move it anywhere. Okay, so let's move it to this one. I know it won't fit, but we'll move this one. Move object. I'll move that one to... Man, maybe that one, maybe this one. I know they look the same. <laughs> um, I'm gonna rotate this down and see if I can get this to work. It's close, okay. I'm gonna rotate this. Yay, there. All right, the two pieces fit. <laughs> um, okay, so this is one, let's see. Let's go back to the tail. So the tail, so you can move things around and really fit a lot of things in here. I think I'm there. Um, but I think another piece can go there. Let's see, can we fit this on the other? I don't think we can. All right, I, we're kind of doomed with that tail. All right. Um, I think this piece, let's see if it goes with the tail. Move object. So there's our tail. Yay. All right. So we saved some pieces on the black. Here's the tongue. Cute little face. Um, these two. I think they're two different colors. So that's why they're on two different mats. And then the stem. That's it. Right? And this is going to be seamless. It's going to look so, so good. And it's 40 inches. So I hope that was helpful. You can do the same thing with mini. So just make sure that with when you're doing off the mat, you want the different color layers. I know people think that um, it's counterintuitive. I get a lot like the dinosaur, it's all one color or it's just two colors. Well, the problem is when it's like that, you're gonna see all your seams. So if you see behind me, like Cinderella's broken up, like top bun, headband, second part of hair, face, a little uh, choker, they're all different pieces and that's going to get you a really seamless look. All right. I hope that was helpful. Let me know what else. I'm on a roll today. I'm getting through all my request lists. All right. See you guys. Bye.